Welcome back to some more Wexion Hundred Night Revival Edition. Lord Pegasus, today we're going to continue on with the main story. I was thinking of doing more of the tower, but I decided to wait a little bit. So we have to go to the Amataya Undergrounds. Oh! How is your search of the underground ruin coming along? I think underground ruin has a really cool sound to it. Makes me think it's just loaded with treasure. Treasure, I see. Yeah, doesn't it sound like it's the place where you find stuff that the people who used to live there left behind? Under the sewer, you might, may find rat feces and buridango carcasses. That is what I would expect to find in such a place. So pessimistic, Arlie. No, no, no. You're gonna turn into a grumpy old fart if you keep talking like that. Anyway, Honey Knight, if you find something really neat though, can you show it to me? It might be a really cool treasure. What? Yeah, mostly the reason I decided to... Not there is as when I was going to go or continue on with that tower, I found that I could not continue on from where where I left off. Oh, never mind. No, uh, no, never mind. I'm thinking wrong. Um, forgotten hero's cave. Killer, I knew it! Hurry up and release the swamp from it. Alright, nothing more. Okay. <laughs> and this is... Now, let's see how big this area is. That leads to a... Alright. Oh. Ow. Are annoying. You guys are so annoying. Now. Oh, nice. Thing so hard right now. <laughs> so hard. I'll kill you before anything else. Uh oh. Magic beast fossil, maybe? In that forbidden land, I saw some dark witch fossils, but this is nothing like those. If I were there with you, I might be able to figure something out, but. 
How annoying. Hmm? Look at what we have here. Swamp Witch, what brings you here? That's my line. What are you doing here? We are here to perform some research. Even that disgusting rat? <laughs> <laughs> What's its problem? Is it getting upset or something? No, not or something. She is seething over what you did to her. <laughs> Being f by male rats. Kids tried to poke me in the a <laughs> <laughs> On top of that, raptors <laughs> me and <laughs> inside their stomachs. Don't talk to me about getting upset. Last but not least, I got separated from Nazaria, and you cut off my damn tail. I swear that I'll kill you, Leah. <laughs> Is what she says. Ratman is trying to say something to Nazaria. <laughs> As I thought. That stupid rat is that idiotic whore of a woman. That certainly sounded like something she'd say anyway. But I'll never return her to her original form. If you want her to change back, you'll have to kill me. All right, I will when I have to. <coughs> but not now, of course. Ah, oh, yes, Swamp Witch. Have you heard this legend? What legend? Thousands of years in the past, the nation was watched over by Nike. Some called him a god, others, a devil. Those who worshipped him were a tribe of maidens. The people were poor, but thanks to Nike's protection, nobody ever fell ill. But then, a group of witches hissed a promise to the king. Kill Nike, and the country will flourish. The king asked, and how does one kill a god? The witches advise that he take the head maiden hostage. And so he did. For seven days and seven nights, Naki sought his missing maiden. When he finally found her, he was caught in a trap and decapitated. His decapitated head flew over three cities. Despite literally losing his mind, he was not dead. For 100 days, he continued his fight, but the witches were just as persistent. Mountains burned, animals died, and the nation was reduced to rubble. The extreme hate and pervasive witchcraft caused some witches to fall to darkness. Ultimately, Nike perished at the hands of the witches. When he died, just as the witches promised, the nation flourished thanks to witchcraft, and people lived in peace once more. Upon the maiden's release, she wailed in grief beside Nike's lifeless body for 100 days, 
before she also died. After that, Nike's decaying organs melted and became a magical swamp bubbling with hatred. His flesh scattered, spread, and caused green spots. A powerful disease that brought chaos to the kingdom and forced many to leave the land. The last surviving witch was named Uruka. She shouldered the blame for all that happened and attempted to cleanse and seal the swamp using pillars made from Nike's bones. After completing her mission, Uruka was imprisoned deep underground and died a lonely, thankless death. That's a little different from the story I know. Yes, it is. Consider this your final warning. Leave the kingdom immediately and never return. Also, without the green crystal, you risk reducing your lifespan by a great deal. Huh? That's one hell of a warning. What are you doing here? What? A fog appears from nowhere and blankets the area. She fled. Damn fog witch. Oh, that's right, Hundred Knight. We haven't done what we came here to do yet. Yeah! I think those idiots and the ones we ran into underground are up to different things. Keep searching! <coughs> what could be ahead of here? All right, that, that was kind of cool. So we got some backstory on Natalia's yeah. swamp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And why yeah. Uruka was trying... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, was trying yeah. to... Yeah. How to say... Yeah. Seal it up. Yeah. Or why it is so difficult. Yeah. To do anything against it. As it was Nike's. Fly. Or a former god's decaying body. That's quite, in That's quite cool. A stomach stone. Yeah, we are very close now to... Only four left. Wow. Yeah, we are very close. So they have to to attack. Yeah, fifteen. That's awesome. That's really awesome. That's perfect. sure how long this episode has been as I forgot to <laughs> put on the timer. Oh well, we'll know soon enough. As I said before about the tower, I thought at first that it said when I was going to continue, I try, I did not click on continue from last floor. I was just going to go straight to 31, which technically is 
Or it is actually. It's exactly what I was trying to do anyway. But I can't I can't explain it. Damn. Sorry about that, I really can't explain. Let's use a bomber. No! Is it? Yeah, it was. So we still need to get the last... Dark... Dark shit or dark armor thingy. Oh well. Attack. Seven five. We are very close. Let's do the whole thing. Come on, up, Chuck. Oh, nice. Oh my god, it works on them too. That's completely new. I've never seen that. That's awesome. That's actually awesome. Wow. That's really cool. I wonder, let's go that way. I'll be back in a second. All right, now we're here. Let's see what's over here then. Yes, this. Ow. A bubble down. Only you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll go check that area as well. Well, except for a crap ton of, crap ton of enemies, not so much here. Can be fun to kill them though. Oh! Okay, that was easier than I thought. Much easier. <laughs> and we have enough. Let's... Let's get this. Alright, I'll meet you at the end of this area. Alright, now we're back here. Mm. Hey, up ahead. It's a light scent. But it smells the same as the swamp. It's not a pillar. Is there a swamp down here or something? <laughs> Hundred nights, stay alert. This feels different than usual. Oh. Look, <laughs> Look Hundred Knight! A swamp! It's a swamp! And it's huge! With a swamp this large, I should be able to manifest over there. Wait a moment. Okay. Huh? What the? I can't teleport. Is it sealed from the surface? My magic isn't having any effect. Huh? What's covering the swamp's surface? 
The same material that pillars are made of? All right, Hundred Knight. Treat this place the same as you would a pillar. <sighs> Making it unnecessarily strong. Then you can release the swamp's power. I have a feeling that is the god's brain or something. His heart. Wow. Hmm. I think I'm starting to get it. In order to seal this entire swamp, they had to bury this entire city. And then they built a new city on top of it. In other words, this whole thing is a stupidly gigantic pillar. That's why they didn't move the capital and built the castle right above it. I wonder why they need this much power. Is it so the capital can flourish? No. That doesn't explain where all this power is flowing to. Hmm. I need to think about it. But look at the size of this swamp! It's a suitable location for the grand finale. When I coat the entire world in swamp mud. <laughs> huh? Shit, someone's coming! How are you doing? Well enough. But why are you here? What do you mean? I was promised a rendezvous with Heinz. Don't be like that. You know how busy my older brother is. But are you really doing all right? I heard you've been using a bit too much lately. Hold your tongue, Jack. Hey, don't be like that. I've talked to you candidly like this since I was little. Hmm. True. We've known each other for quite a while. But if you let your tongue slip up too badly, I won't hesitate to punish you. Would you like to be a centipede? Maybe a majopkin? Or how about a buridango? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say everything's fine, then it's fine. But you need to relax that scary face. Every time I see it, I'm reminded that you're the scum which who silences crying children. I mean, with a face like that, it's no surprise my brother's gonna fall for the princess instead. What was that about my dear Heinz? Oh, right. Just a sec. Here you go. This package contains that stuff you asked for. Jack hand spelled a small package. That, that sow, taking away my Heinz. I'll never forgive her. I'll turn her into a damn pig. Damn pig princess. I'll lop off her breasts. Heinz, I love you. Oh, Lord Heinz. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna go now. Got another job to take care of. Try to keep the creepy muttering to a minimum. <laughs> oh? <laughs> what have we here? Come on out, familiar of the Swamp Witch. You were one of the witches at Walpurgis. I'll never forget your crusty face. Oh, you can speak through your familiar. Well, since you were able to ruin our party so thoroughly, I suppose it's no surprise. I'm actually in your debt for that debacle. So in your debt that it was difficult for me to focus on cleaning up your aftermath. <laughs> You're that dirty thief of a witch's master, aren't you? Dirty thief of a witch. You must be referring to Teresa. Teresa was drenched in your swap mud, and she was so disgusted that she melted away. It's as if she was killed by you. And right when she had been acknowledged by us as an official witch. How disappointing. Don't blame anyone but yourself. You evaded my swamp mud and turned her into the victim in your place, no? Did you think I wouldn't notice? 
Can you not try to pin it on me? I'd rather not have to squash any false rumors. Ah, I know. This presents an opportunity. This may be a good chance to offer a virgin to you. What? <laughs> you should rejoice, Swamp Witch. It's a virgin in terms of battle. You can have it. I call it Hexen Bufin. Hexen Bufin is an anti witch golem that drains away a witch's magic power. All types of magic are neutralized by this modern anti witch weapon. Allow me to drain a small magic being's power and offer it to you. <laughs> Anti-witch golem, my ass. I don't want to hear any more complaints when it's turned into junk. Don't underestimate the Hundred Knight. Do you really think it's the same as the magic beans you'll find around here? Go for broke, Hundred Knight. Golems are just dolls of clay brought to life with mana. They should be returned to the Earth. Huh. All right, then. Now, now the question is, how do we kill it? Do I have to make it go back into him? Or do I have to destroy something? I should have enough strong weapons for this, but... I I have no Wait, no. Ow. How come I do damage now? Oh well, I do damage, that's what counts. That's what matters, I should say. No, 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 no. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Yeah, this, this is going quite well. Uh, So it seems like... Wait, do my weapon have... Let's see here. Uh... Ah, it's magic based, that's why I didn't do that much. That explains it. Oh my god. Kill it! Hexen Funny name. Now, come here. Yeah! Yeah, that was easy. Fifty-five, thirty-seven, and thirty-nine. <laughs> Great job, Hundred Knight. Magic neutralizing, huh? Who cares? 
We'll just smash it into pieces with our fists. Let's finish off these enemies and carry on like we always do. We failed earlier, but now, I think we can do it this time. <laughs> Who cares why this gigantic swamp is sealed? Whatever happens, happens. Smash it with all your might, Hundred Knight. Just being aggressive isn't enough for this one, is it? Well, what about that scowling bitch? She might still be here somewhere. Seek her out, Hundred Knight! I'll capture her and make her vomit all her secrets! Oh, never mind. The antidote is ready. I thought I heard a microwave with. <laughs> Looks like she caught a lucky break. Visco's curse is our immediate concern. I'll let that scum go for today. Return to the castle, Hundred Knight. <laughs> it's ready, it's ready. The anti curse antidote is complete. Yeah, this is a good color. How should it taste? Maybe I'll try to add in a sun-dried mouse flavor. <coughs> I need to let Visco know right away. Where the hell is she? Is Master Visco here? <laughs> she cannot attend a ball when she looks like a dog. Right when she entered the monastery, she was cursed by an unknown witch. How unfortunate for her. Is it because her mother is a whore? She's a princess, but the canine curse makes her difficult to stomach. But Princess Hilda, the first daughter, was spared. His majesty must have been relieved. True, especially since there's a rumor that his mistress was, in fact, that witch. <sighs> Relieve her! If that's not possible, at least let her only be an external advisor away from the capital. She can't stay here for too long. That's definitely Visco in the audience chamber. Hey, Visco! I made some medicine! M Metalia? Why are you here? Stop, witch! How rude, interrupting an audience with his majesty. Hmm, Swamp Witch, what is this medicine you speak of? It's the medicine to lift Visco's curse, of course. I is that true? Is that so? Taking on such a trying task before your official inauguration? Excellent work. That is behavior well suited for our kingdom's appointed witch. All right, let's lift the curse, then. Just a minute. She can drink it at the ball. At, at the ball? But why go through the trouble? To show all the idiots that treated you like garbage, obviously. They're in for a shock. What are you saying, Metalia? I agree with her suggestion. It makes for a good chance to show off the power of our kingdom's newly appointed witch. But... The ball? Don't turn me into any more of a sideshow. Even if I wear a mask to cover my face, I... I can't hide this horrible smell. Please let me drink it now. Don't make me into some terrible attraction. Your curse has begun to spread rumors amongst the nobility. Some are saying that I have given up on finding a cure, and instead have decided to bend my knee to the witches. In trying times like this, such rumors can balloon to create much larger problems. It may be shameful, but Princess Visco, please be strong and do as suggested. What? You doubting me? No, that's not it. But... Then what? You don't think the medicine will work or something? Well, no. I'm not saying... Then there's no problem. 
I'll give those disgusting slobs such a shock that their eyes will fall out of their sockets. Natalia. All right. I understand, Natalia. I'll drink the antidote in front of everyone at the ball. Excellent! Things are getting exciting. Thank you. Let's do as you say, then. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. The curse will vanish so fast you'll think it was magic. Well, it is magic, but still! And then, they'll grow to fear my strength and bow down to me! As always, that was your real goal. So if it works, it'll be good for Metalia as well. Maybe then I can convince her to go back to the swamp. She's clearly getting weaker by the day. What do you say, Hundred Knight? Looking pretty good, huh? Yes, it suits you quite well. However, this little thing is a problem. Hey! What'd you say about the Hundred Knight? I mean, it can be a problem when it doesn't listen, but it's usually well behaved. It's my servant, after all. Oh, pardon me. I did not speak clearly. Nobody is allowed to bring a familiar before His Majesty at the ball. Damn right you didn't speak clearly. My pardons, Miss Swamp Witch. Besides, little one, there will not be a dance partner of suitable stature for you. Could you please wait in this room during the ball? Question. Okay. The Hundred Knight looks inquisitively at Metalia. Huh? That look makes me think you expect me to do as she tells me. I usually don't care about the rules other people make, but it's different this time. It's unfortunate, but be patient. I have a feeling this is a big mistake. We're dealing with Visco's issue this time. We have to set aside our typical approach. Just this once. I know that for you, it... <coughs> You sound quite ill. Do you need to rest? <laughs> if I can make it through this, I can rest all I want. The Hundred Knight feels his vision fade for a moment. What was that about? I'll be going now, Hundred Knight. Just stay calm, no matter what. Everything is starting to spin. Staying conscious is too much work. Uh-oh. Yep. Now it's really starting to... Wow. Take off here. How long... Yeah, we have been easily been over 30 minutes now, or maybe an hour, I don't know. Yeah, this is cool. I kinda liked Metallia though in that dress. Is that some kind of funeral garb for her? Damn, I really cannot see what will happen. Alright, I'll let you all enjoy the music.
Nice to meet you. You're the witch who is good friends with Visco, right? Huh? Who are you? Didn't I see you meeting someone in the forest that one time? Miss Metalia, please take note. This is Princess Viskel's older sister, Princess Hilda. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Thank you for always being so kind to Visco. How amazing that I get to meet the Swamp Witch. I've truly been looking forward to this. Visco always looked so happy whenever she spoke of you. This is her sister? They look nothing alike. Oh, I must greet our other guests. Take care. Let us talk some more later. Dear assembled guests, please direct your attention to the king's address. Yes, yes. Aside from the typical reasons for this event, we have two other important announcements to share with you tonight. First, we welcome our kingdom's newly appointed witch, who will protect our land with her magic. This position has gone unfilled for too long, and we have finally found a suitable successor. This way, please. Oh, so young, and so pretty, too. I'd love to do the wallpy shuffle with her. Look at her hair. It's so healthy and shiny. <laughs> How do you like that, Hundred Knight? They seem to think I'm beautiful. Oh, I forgot it's not here. Allow me to introduce to you all our kingdom's new and exclusive appointed witch, the Swamp Witch Metalia. Her skills are limitless, comparable even to the legendary Great Witch Uruka who was long revered for her magic powers. The... the Great Witch Uruka? That's so... wow! And we have one more announcement. Oh, that face. And a tail? Gross. A beast man? No, a heretic. The face of a heretic! Everyone, I look like this because I was cursed by a witch a while back. I've tried all types of methods to dispel this horrible canine curse. And today, I will finally be rid of it. Tonight, our kingdom's new witch, Metalia, will give me an antidote to remove this vile curse once and for all. We will no longer fear the evil magic that some witches command. We will not have to suffer at the hands of an evil witch's curse. All right, Swamp Witch. Please cure Princess Visco. <laughs> this should work perfectly. It's a masterpiece. Yeah. Visco gives Metalia a quick smile before wrapping her mouth around the vial of milky fluid. Huh? What's your problem? Gulp it all down! Uh, okay. Wh what's going on? Nothing's happening. <laughs> what are they doing? If she doesn't have snacks, I don't want to hang out with Visco. I was blinded because I got this opportunity to work alongside her. But if my master is a dog-faced princess, who's leading who? That odor is overpowering. She smells like wet dog. <laughs> she cannot attend a ball when she looks like a dog. Duh. No, I have to believe it'll work. Hey, what the hell are you doing? My antidote is perfect. So why won't you just go back to your original form already? Unless your dog face actually is your original form. You aren't really a dog, are you? <laughs> Natalia! What? What are you saying to me in front of all these people? <laughs> and her tomboy attitude. No guy's gonna tie any knots with her, you know. 
Anything she touches needs to be disinfected. How disgusting. Jeez, all this... So not cute. A whore's child. Nobody likes Bisco. Dog-faced dog princess. Smells like wet dog. Disgusting. Disinfect. Not cute at all. Whore. Dog. Ever since we first met, you've always had the stench of a hound. Trying to make a mockery of me too, aren't you? I trusted you. I thought you were different. But you're just like everyone else. Do you get off on making me hate myself? What did I ever do to you? Huh? What's your problem? There's no way you won't turn back to normal with that antidote. I didn't screw it up. You trying to scheme against me? You trying to shame me? Bisco slaps Metalia and moves her face mere inches away from Metalia's. Don't you ever come near me again! How dare you strike your master, you cur! You worm! Master my foot! You swamp-scented witch scum! You'll never be Metalia! Your name will always just be Leah! And if I'm a dog, a mutt, a cur, Whatever! What does that make you? A rotten bean fertilized by a poisonous swamp! Poisonous, venomous, noxious girl! Rotten, poison spreading! Ugh. Smelly, disgusting! You need to be disinfected! Never show your nasty, stinky face around me again! I'm a rotten bean? A poisonous girl? You... You stupid cross-looking dog! Metalia continues to swear at Bisco as she tries to walk after her, but she is intercepted by a shadowy figure. Wait, Miss Metalia, your debut is far from over. Swamp Witch, what is the meaning of this? We'll hear your explanation. No to trusting this Swamp Witch. Oh, what now? That nuisance! Catch him! Not to worry, everyone. I hired this man. I had him research and tail the Swamp Witch. Research? What does he mean? King, look what I had did. This is Witch from Shishite Battlefield. She was invisibling to be running away, but I catched and did final blows. Carefully, Ribbon must be looked at. Witch had, same as Swamp Witch, for this being wrapped around evil Witch of Battlefield. Sabina, you piece of shit. How disappointing that our promised dance has devolved into such a messy situation. Please continue to hear his report. This ribbon and her knowing of the name of Battlefield Witch is proving to us that they are to know one another. Proof to be true, they tricking the king. Swamp Witch, is it true? Have you lied to me? It is exactly as it is being said to be. My concluding is that this is a witch most evil. Tell us, witch. Why does this one have your ribbon wrapped around her? Didn't you report that you had slain the witch? Burnt her to ash? The ribbon was a gift. The evil spirit that was haunting your precious battlefield is gone. There would have been no point in killing her. To deceive me, my citizens, and even fooling this goal into believing that you were her friend. Hmm. I see. A witch is a witch, after all. Heinz, it is as you said. We cannot let this evil witch roam free. Capture the Swamp Witch! Capture? <laughs> Don't underestimate me. It's time to come out and play, Hundred Knight. Unfortunately... 
Your magic being is fast asleep right now. I've sealed that room. Trapped from the very start. Then you'll all have to take me on. Hans quickly gra grabs Metalia by the arm and gives it a sharp twist, dislocating her shoulder. A few days Cover later. in one of the cells as a heretic until we can begin a trial. One more thing. Because of the Swamp Witch's actions, we have chosen to liberate the kingdom of all its ties to witches and hereby declare open war on them. Inquisitors will be given the right to judge the merit of any and all witches. We will dispose of all evil witches and their witch soldiers that reside in our kingdom. We shall finally release ourselves from the witch's rule that we suffered under for the past 1,000 years! Hooray to witch hunting! Amatai Kalendar, year 1013. The witch hunt begins, and no witch is safe. Damn! Okay, this went far, became far worse than I thought. Holy hell. Yeah, that's that. Wow. This was far worse than I had anticipated it would be. Yeah. This, that build has really made some great problems and Teresa died I did not realize that now I really want to see what happens later so until then I'll see you all later and take care and bye bye